Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We are about to enter Felco Felcroft Catacomb with Sebastian. Hopefully we will be able to find the relic. We need to lift the curse off his sister Anne. I'm honestly keeping my fingers crossed because... I really was taken with Anne the first time we met her, and her story is just... I know, I really, really want to help her. I want to give her the opportunity to go back to Hogwarts, to study, and well, to be able to finish Hogwarts, finish her education, get friends, continue having them, you know, all that jazz. Ah, yes. Spiders. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect-free. Hmm. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> Spiders aren't insects. He's not wrong. Once we get a large square rugs. Okay. Um. Uh... Nice. Nothing there. And zilch over there. Anything else here? If not, we are moving down. See if we can find this relic. It was uh, surprisingly quick and easy. Okay, the pulse of this door. Not before we grab ourselves some more goodies. Do we have anything else? No, meaning... This needs to be... Placed by the pole set. Oh, it goes down both ways. That spider's over there, and there's a whole lot of. Now, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. And that's also. No, we're definitely not going there, Sebastian. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Sebastian! Why did you leave your potato? Okay, we got all of these. Meaning that now we can go over there and face very many lots of bad things, essentially. Okay, some bars that probably can be destroyed and will be destroyed eventually. Uh, first though. See if we can't be a Tomb Raider for a little bit. Let's 
So bones over there, bones over there. Whoopsie. Now, I'm not entirely sure where we need to put this. Be like somehow over here. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, Sebastian. We need these bones. That's not creepy at all. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay, but research must come before my felty to the rules. I said something about this relic. I was told that the chosen that those chosen by English Oak One have powerful intuition, I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. And conveniently, we can't go. Oh no. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Maybe we can get up to the treasure. And that's why spamming Revelio is just as useful. Whoa. Would be in the way. This again. Now we're talking. Give me bones. So we do get there. Wonderful. Dwellings. Dwellings of what kind? And our gear slots are full. <laughs> That's not exactly what I have anticipated to happen. First, we are getting rid of all of the green ones. I don't know if we have that many, though. No, but... It's gonna be fine. 
For now, I think those, like, how many slots do we have? Like, five spare slots should be enough. We should be good on that. And now we unlock this little door. Wonderful. Okay, Sebastian. Imperius curse. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Where do you think these diaries, these diary pages come from? Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Let's move on. Actually, cost Rebellio, see what this brings us. Uh oh. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. Oh, it's no. an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. I prefer not to. Yes, I'd like to. What does learning the curse entail? Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse. Same idea. Except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. How do you know the Imperious Curse? Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Well, in that case, might as well learn it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Well, let's dive into Imperio. spells do we still have to learn? Bombarda and Avada Kedavra. Thank you, Sebastian. So there's evidently a pathway there and evidently a pathway over here. Not entirely sure if I want to go down that path just yet. Let's first investigate everything we have over here. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. In that case, let's move over this way.
Curses on you and everything you stand for. Ugh. Curses. Never knew spiders can make such a mess. Oh. Dramatic, isn't it? Now you know. Curses and everything. Whoa. Right. Okay, we can't carry any more wiggle ball potions, that's fine. Let's get ourselves some unidentified fancy gear. Kind of a running theme at this point, so it's not too hard to guess. And we do have... Can we go through? Oh, we can. Any spiders? No. That's not creepy at all. Right, so off we go. Through the barricade again. We already know how this one goes. Let's take a better look at it one more time. And that's definitely not creepy at all. Okay, so let's see here. One. Does anything open? No. Prepare this one and this one. Something opens. And if we pair this one and this one, nothing opens. And then this and this. No. This and this. Yes. Wonderful. And there we go. Oh! Test. Well, let's move on. Has to be an arena battle. Yeah, there we go. This looks promising. The relic's note. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. And the lost relic illustration. Here it is. Baby.
The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. We do mean it, yes. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Right, so all we have to do now... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Uh -oh. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Hmm. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Oh, gosh. Uh... Okay, let's try talk with, talking right. with him. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Oh, Ominous. Thank you. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Time. Ominous. I'll explain on the way. Come on. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, we do have it. There it is. There has to be a way up there. No. Here, maybe. Maybe even through here. Come on. You know, the wiggle well potions. How does one get? So there's a path here. Uh, somewhere here. Do we need Bombarda for this? Maybe we do. If they see no other way of this working. Hmm. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? 
I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Coming. I hope so. Okay, the accent should be somewhere. Somewhere about here. Yeah, there we go. Felt Croft region. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. We know, Sebastian. We know. While we're here. Let's do this. Let's look out little moth friends. We only see one of these, however. The one's over there. Wait. Oh. To destroy them. And not gather up our little friends. Should fairly be easily. Oh, very nice. More unidentified items, all the more reason to go to the room of requirement again. And we do need to go there also to talk to Deke. Considering he does want to teach us how to breed uh, magical creatures. So that's also something to look forward to. And I, for one, am looking forward to it very much. Down here, grab ourselves some toadstools. There's a lot of them here. And fingers crossed we don't encounter any of Grand Rock's loyalists. Because that would be pretty damn bad. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Uh oh. Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Oh no. They'll cause some trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
what even is going on? Slots are cool again. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Mm, yep. Well, oh, maybe it was the wrong choice. In the Pulso, Flipendo, Expelliarmus could have done the trick too. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Oh boy. Have a vendor. We do all think. Oh. No vendor. Well, it's time to get rid of some more items then. See if three gear slots are enough. Might not be. Revelio. And it's definitely worth a shot. Do this to time. Wigan potions, and that's also Wigan Mole. Also Wigan Mole potion, yes, yes it is. This one is though. Also camp with uh nobody there. Revelio. Ooh. Goblin Loyalist Correspondence. Ranrock suspects there is more of it in Feldcroft. Do not return until you found it. Ranrock demands an update. Have you found a report back immediately? Interesting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. Be 
Right. Oh. Huh. Solomon Sallow. Oh, oh, it's a no-fly zone. Whoopsie. Please just get- oh my god, get up this ledge. It's not that hard. Revelio. Oh, no, I- I really want to have some fun with the cows. Sorry, cow. It's fun to do. Don't mind me. Okay, Uncle Solomon. Please. What was he thinking? He was trying to protect Anne. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. He did save his sister. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? No luck. Oh, we completed all of these side missions? At least he challenges for it. Plus... 18. I have 32 now. Six assignments, so we get the top of the class cloak. Exploration. Oh, the balloons, that's right. Landing platforms, Merlin trials. Astronomy tables. One more Hogwarts. Secret. Kind of curious which one that's going to be. And can we talk to you? Oh. A letter from Ansello to Sebastian Salo. I think we already read that. And this one too. Oh, Sebastian. I who lives here. Yeah, the working well potions. Undercroft. The wit. Light as well. Is this the astronomy wing? No. Oh, we need to go here. Full of the dead. Defense against the dark arts classroom. Yes, this is where we want to go. Here we go, Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. 
And now it's all a matter of going to Rot. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, He's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What crest are you sending to Anne? What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. Well, let us know what you find, then. I shall wait to hear from you, then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Noted. Oh boy, what did we get ourselves into? Maybe with different dialogue options it would be different, but... There really, really is no way of telling. However, that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, share support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode. And until then, have a good one. Bye!